One of the biggest barriers to keeping cattle healthy is bovine respiratory disease. But as Cattleman the Cattleman reporter Matt Fleck tells us, there are key strategies that can help you prevent BRD in your cattle. Cattle on feed almost as far as the eye can see. This is Cattle Empire in southwest Kansas. Today, the second and third generations are running this family feed yard. My father, Paul Brown, bought into Cattle Empire in 1978. He was a farmer at that time, and cattle were a natural hedge to grain prices. When grain prices were low, cattle prices were high. Doesn't always work that way now, but it did then. Being involved in the family business it has been really a dream come true for me. Uh, I love that it's every day is different. Uh, running your, your own business is never easy. It's never the same thing. But getting to work together as a family every day, it's really been wonderful. Cattle Empire is unique in the industry because we went from 100% company-owned cattle to where now we're 95% custom cattle. We've always fed customer cattle ever since we started in 1978. Some of our customers have been with us since that time. But being able to go custom has really been rewarding. That's one of the major benefits we have here at Cattle Empire is that you know, we're here for the long term. And a lot of our customers, even to this day, are Paul's customers from the 70s and 80s. We really value long-term relationships, both with our employees and with our customers. At Cattle Empire, being successful requires a relentless focus on animal care and an ongoing battle against bovine respiratory disease. BRD is the leading cause of death and morbidity in the feed yard. The key is diagnosing it early, uh, having the people in place to be able to spot that animal, and also to try to look at new technologies to be able to identify those animals even before they clinically show signs of being sick. Bovine respiratory disease, or BRD, is without a doubt the most costly disease that we see in the feed yard. Typically that's the main reason that we have sick cattle in the feed yard is for BRD. It costs the industry millions, even possibly into billions of dollars per year. While BRD is a threat for every segment of the cattle industry, feed yards are challenged by the fact that cattle arriving each day, often from many different locations, have an increased health risk simply from the shipping process. Cattle are very stressed when they're brought to the feed yard just because they've been on a truck and they may have been through multiple sale barn auction facilities or they've been taken from their ranch for the first time. When that stress happens, we can't add to it. We can't afford to stress them more. And so we have a responsibility to the cattle that are in our care to handle them in as calm a manner as possible. Our employees are trained on this. Some of the challenges with constantly receiving and shipping cattle are um, just making sure we're doing all the small things right. Making sure that the pins are ready, making sure that the vaccines are mixed properly, making sure that our, our team are handling animals correctly. You know, all those little things really add up to make a big difference for our customers. When we put cattle through the processing, shoot after arrival, there's typically a series of vaccinations that are given. And just because we vaccinate an animal does not mean that animal is immunized. We have to understand that that animal has to be physiologically capable of responding to the vaccine. And by the stress of the, of the marketing system that uh, a lot of our cattle go through, the truck ride to the feed yard, uh, and then again the handling at the feed yard, so much of that can, can raise the stress on those animals and they simply can't respond. So getting them in to a pen that they can find feed and water, basically rehab themselves for a short period of time before we vaccinate them is key. Also important is ongoing training of all employees at the feed yard in beef quality assurance or BQA animal care practices so everyone can work together to handle animals correctly and to identify any that may be showing BRD symptoms. When an animal does get sick, using the right antibiotic reduces treatment times and the amount of antibiotic used. So when we pull an animal to treat him, the goal is number one, to get him back on the road to performance as quickly as possible. Every day that a calf is sick, his performance gets worse. Ranch to rail information indicates that it, 
there's around $90 lost in performance for every time a calf is treated. In order to get that calf rehabilitated and, and ready to perform, it's so important to, number one, find that calf early in the disease process so there's less damage uh, done by the, the pathogen. And, and number two, getting an environment that he can recover. Timely treatment for our sick cattle when they do get sick at the feed yard is so important. If we can identify illness in an animal and get them treated with the right antibiotic, then we can get them back on feed. Once they're back on feed, their immune system will start working in a more robust manner because we've primed it with vaccines on the on-arrival protocols. And so once we get cattle back on feed with their immune system working, we, we have a better chance at feeding them successfully through the whole feeding period and then getting a better close out for those customers. Handling vaccines with care is also key, storing and mixing them properly, keeping them cold and using them up quickly. New technologies, better access to performance data, and BQA practices that emphasize low stress handling are all valuable tools that work to keep cattle healthy and help cattle feeders give their customers what they want. Herd health is important for our customers here at Cattle Empire because every time you pull an animal or treat an animal, that costs money and we want our customers to have the biggest return that they can. My father had the slogan that Cattle Empire is nothing but a square deal. That's what we guarantee you. We don't guarantee cost of gains, but we do guarantee that we will give it our all to make sure that the cattle perform the way that they ought to and the way that's most economical to the customer. At Cattle Empire in Southwest Kansas, I'm Matt Fleck, reporting for NCBA's Cattlemen to Cattlemen. For more information on Merck's full lineup of products, just visit their website, MerckAnimalHealthUSA.com.